On the Inquiry Space tab, you assign and monitor guided digital projects related to specific topics. Students are given a specific problem and tasked with writing and preparing a presentation on it. Access Inquiry Space by clicking Writing and Research on the Navigation Banner and selecting Inquiry Space. To view an Inquiry Space project, select one from the drop-down list. The Project Overview provides a description of the project as well as details about each project level. Notice the recommended due dates that integrate this project with your current planner. These are recommended dates. Look at your planner and determine if your students will need more time to complete a level and adjust your dates accordingly. This page also indicates the standards the project covers as well as any resources related to it. Click the icon to launch the project. Each of your students will receive their own copy of the interactive project. The student will be able to walk through the project, complete tasks, and submit their work. To assign this project, click the Assign button. Write and format your assignment instructions and determine when the assignment starts and when it is due. Remember, the due dates found on the Inquiry Space tab for each level are recommendations. The Inquiry Space interactive project is added automatically. Click Edit if there are additional resources you wish to add. You can choose to assign to specific students or the whole class. You can also select specific groups when sending project or activity-related messages. Click the Assign button to assign to the selected students. Assignments appear on the student's to-do list based on the start date you selected. Once a project has been assigned, you can view your student's progress by clicking the Class Progress button. This screen indicates how long each student has worked on this project and the level he or she is currently on. Colors indicate if the student has completed the level or the work is currently in progress. In Inquiry Space projects, your students cannot work on the next level until you have reviewed the current one. Click a number to view the student's work for that level. You can also review their submissions by clicking the Student Work button. Select the student's name and the level you wish to review on the drop-down list. The What to Look For checklist on the left helps you indicate which elements the student has demonstrated. Select a checkbox to indicate a student has performed that task. As you review the student's work, add your comments at the bottom of each page. Click Submit to provide your feedback to the student. You can monitor the student's work throughout the project. Select Pre-Feedback to see the student's original answers before your review. Select Post Feedback to see what, if any, changes the student made after your review. Select Comparison to show the differences between the two. Evaluation checklists are available to help you review the student's work. You can access this checklist by clicking the printable checklist link. These are also available on the Resources page under Inquiry Space. This concludes our guide to Inquiry Space projects. Be sure to view other help materials for more information about the Wonders program.